Uh, hello everyone, my name is uh, Yi Zhou Zhao, or Zhang Yi Zhou, it's a different song which we talk about. And uh, I'm from the KTH, the Royal Institute of Technology, and I'm originally from uh, Shanghai, China, but I'm working in Sweden. Yes, let's start. So this project was actually started in some master cities in the 2014 October, and then uh, uh, with a sponsorship and a support from XL, which is a uh, because we need uh, the previous presentation, it's the Stockholm Public Transport Authority and also the local metro operator, MTR. Many, many, many of you already know MTR, it's actually a company from Hong Kong and they're also doing the metro operation uh, in Stockholm as well. So it's the uh, same with uh, other European uh, cities and the big cities, it's uh, Sweden and especially Stockholm is actually growing very uh, fast and the population is actually increasing very fast as well. And the metro, so it's actually leads to uh, very high uh, travel demand as well. So you can see from this statistic. So, in order to solve and uh, to meet this demand, one way we can do is construction new infrastructure. And another way, uh, but of course, it will take time and also budget. So another way actually is increasing transportation efficiency. I think uh, one speaker just mentioned that. I really agree with that. So uh, when I was a kid, my father always said, oh, if so, you should have to go further and there's more space in the end of the train or beginning of the train. And I don't believe him, actually. But uh, because from his imagination, it's like this in the, in the end. And then other side will be like that, or silent, right? Yeah. Is that true? As a researcher, we need to know the facts. So we take this uh, technical school uh, as an as a example. So this is actually the, uh, my campus, the uh, TBH. So you see there's only one exit, and I have one, a three, three, two uh, entrance and two exits. It's uh, similar to other stations as well in Europe. And the uh, one exit and entrance is close, very close to the campus. And most students and uh, uh, research and uh, uh, teachers left and uh, go to with this uh, entrance. And uh, another side is close to the resident area. So which lead to a tree, uh, you see the pictures. And it's uh, very crowding on platform on one side and less crowding on the other side. And uh, this is the uh, arrival uh, train as well. So the train which arrived at this station also has, uh, you see the data here. Yeah, yeah. It's a peak uh, hour in the morning, and uh, the first call. So it's, uh, this is the first call. Actually, is uh, heavily crowded, and the definition from SCL is more than two hundred fifty uh, passengers. We will call uh, highly crowded, and actually even more, around 350 actually close to. But when we see the third car, the second car, it's actually less crowded. So I will say actually the system capacity is not fully optimized or not used. It's a really unfortunate actually. We spend so much money, but the system is not fully efficient. So we did this test in uh, 2015, and that's uh, for one week actually. We did it in the afternoon rush hour. So as you see this sign, and uh, uh, it's quite challenging actually. We need to uh, make this sign and also show this in the afternoon rush hour. So this is how it looks on a platform. platform yes. And uh, we basically uh, only provide two information, two kind of information. One is visual information, like that. Another is uh, vocal information, it's by speaker, uh, both in Swedish and uh, uh, English. So as, uh, on this side, it's close to KTH campus. So a lot of people go here and are waiting here. And then this side is actually less people, it's close to the resident room. And uh, when we talk about text uh, analysis, we use actually attention, we see attention, valuation, and action. So what we mean that attention is uh, we buy the video analysis. We actually see 3,000 passengers' behaviors, how they come to the metro, and how to stand, where they stand on the platform, and are they moving forward, or are they actually standing over there? So we have a, a video a footprint in this case. And for this video analysis, and then we see when the speaker system is on, around the 33, 33.2% of passengers saw our sign, this real-time crowding information sign. 
And when the speaker was off, then the said decreased to 27.26%. But average is around 30.8% passengers saw our sign. That valuation is that uh, you see uh, based on the passenger uh, survey, actually the interview, and the 118 passengers uh, participated in the interviews. So we see this result is uh, around 46% of these uh, passengers, these 118 passengers, think this uh, real time quality information system uh, information is uh, very useful. So we have a mark from one actually not useful to five. And another 39, I think, is uh, useful. Uh, actually, totally 90 and uh, 85% consider it's very useful and useful for their traveling. Um, but doesn't mean actually they will change their behaviors. So actually they know it's crowding in and lost before they saw the situation. So sometimes we are, are doing an interview with a character, they will feel really stressed actually. Then they saw when the train comes and it's fully people and then they ask themselves, what should we do? What should I do? And especially I was the kids. With this information, they can act in a box and more precise. And also, another challenge is uh, if the people can understand our site. Because uh, as we discussed, the technology and also the, the passenger is actually just on distance. And, uh, and uh, we actually have many proposals with the design you saw. And uh, finally, we achieved 97% passengers can understand our site. This is, uh, I will say, very high. Um, the last one is action. So, as I said, uh, when the passenger saw this sign, they feel happy, they feel satisfied, but are they really moved? We don't know. So then we see actually, in order to know that, then we see actually we uh, have a 57 uh, trains passenger load data for our analysis during this test period, and we used exactly the same period last year in May 2014 actually to C-72 uh, departure trains, to, as a reference to compare. So this is the boarding distribution. And by the way, before I mention these figures, I will say, you know, this uh, first car is a C-20 car. It's around 46.5 meters. So you see, if it's actually you standing here and then you want to move, it's a, not, it's a to convince them to move, it's not so easy, actually. Yeah. And uh, also, when the, the figures here, we show ultimately it's a show the passenger move from first car to second car, but inside the distribution we don't know. But only, now we only mention the distribution actually between the car one, car two, car three. But if we say this car one, car two, you see actually compare with the reference period, and uh, the test period actually decreased around four percent, and uh, uh, the uh, traffic load in the technical school up. and then it's distributed to mostly to the car two and. Uh, Less, very less actually, cost rate. So the conclusion is uh, around 30.8% passenger noticed the uh, RTCI display. And uh, when the speaker is on, actually, the percent is uh, higher, uh, unless it's opposite. And the 46 passenger consider it's uh, uh, very useful, and the 39 consider it's useful for their traveling. And 4% of the boarding load was distributed to a car. Car two, from car one to car two and car three. And uh, so uh, in general, I will say this information really improved to increase and increase the space uh, usage efficiency. And uh, doing this only one week test in the technical school station. And uh, next thing is actually, uh, we are thinking about when we do the test, actually, we don't, you may ask me what kind of advanced system we use. But uh, actually, the answer is no, we don't have a mock system. So it's a very actually, simple way. We arrange a stop in the previous station, and then with the walkie talkie, he saw the train actually left, how crowded it is. He reported to me, and then I used actually the uh, computer to change the uh, pictures and, uh, on the screen, the screen you saw actually. So the philosophy on, behind this is that uh, we want to prove if this real time crowd information make, will make an impact. Or not first, and that evidence makes an impact and a very positive impact. Now we focus on the system development. So, first things, and uh, we will say we really prove it's a really positive impact in Stockholm. So, second is uh, our system development. So, now actually, until now, we have a complete system development. 
system really actually from the quality detecting to data processing and then information display system. And uh, I have limited time, so I only will mention most interesting things with our patent solution, the quality detecting system. This one, yes. So the challenge for us in the beginning is uh, how we can detect the crawling for different type of the train. In Stockholm, as in many cities as well, you have the old train and the new train. So in Stockholm, we have a CX. It's actually older than my age, uh, the most people age. And uh, then also from a C20 as well, this is a more new train. So if we only know the crawling from one type of the train, it's a useless. So we have to know the crawling from different type of the train. But then the challenge is, uh, can we touch the train? And, uh, if, and uh, there will be a lot of actually uh, progression from SL and to do that, and also a lot of uh, cost as well. So our solution is uh, no touch to the train, and a move by easy installation and high reliable and accuracy. How we did that? We scan the train. So we scan the train when it leaves the station, so we know how many possibly and how many uh, crawling levels in each car, and we can have around 96.4% accuracy. And this test actually is uh, uh, in Unstierda for one year. Yeah, so thank you so much. This is my presentation. If you have any questions uh, or comments, just please send me the email. Yeah, thank you. Yes. We still have uh, some time for uh, questions, if someone has, someone wants to ask something. Yes. The importance of flow and public transport is critical. For 25 years I was in charge of business development for National Express Group in the UK with 46,000 staff and thousands of buses and trains. You've hit the nail on the head that people always stand next to the, 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 the elevator when they come down, that's the coach they want to get on, or if they know which uh, uh, coach is best to be nearest the elevator when they get off. To distribute the uh, load will speed up journey times, make the journeys quicker, more comfortable, yes. and also have an impact on the cost and the operations and the engineering costs for the, the, the terms because the weight will be evenly distributed. How much do you have to spend to encourage the public to think to make things better? They are, they are part of the problem. Have you tried like, a marketing campaign to say to people, try and spread yourself across the, uh, uh, pick one line for one month? And, and see how we can promote people to think logically instead of crowd mentality. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good one, actually. It's a, I will say also kind of education for yeah. the public. Yeah. First of things, uh, we do not do, not do like uh, what other people do, is we don't push them to do that. Yeah. We advise them. So we give them the information and they make decisions by themselves. By the situation, by the condition they have, if they have kids, if they travel for long distance, and they will really want to move then we give you the information. And for your uh, question, uh, we, uh, we don't really know actually for this answer, but uh, what we realized, especially at NPR told me, is half our test, one week test, the distribution actually still is actually better than the last years. Yeah. But that actually is like a decrease. So people remember and uh, this uh, information and still have some influence in their mind after our test. So we consider the long period test, longer period test will have a better influence. Now only one week we have actually this four percent. And if we do it for longer time, it's also longer education time, then they will do better. But of course we don't want everybody to move, right? So it's uh, if everybody move, then it's uh, will be very opposite. Right? So it's also good only thirty percent of people saw our sign, other people do what they want. It's a uh, rubbish. Yeah.